Yeah, so estrogen, as we saw on that chart, is one of our dominant hormones throughout our cycle, but mostly in our follicular phase. So estrogen starts to rise from the beginning of our cycle and it'll continue to rise and do a peak just before ovulation. Estrogen is the hormone that influences the cervix most. It influences the cervix to produce cervical mucus, which is key and very vital to keeping sperm alive. If you're trying to conceive, estrogen is so important to produce good quality cervical mucus. And even if you're avoiding pregnancy, if you can see a pattern of good quality cervical mucus during your fertile phase leading up to ovulation, it's telling you that your hormone health is good. It's at a good level. If, you, if you're not producing cervical mucus, it's letting you know that, hey, my hormones aren't, aren't as balanced as what they should be. Estrogen is vital for other parts of our health, but it's, it's a really important indicator through our cervical mucus to see how our estrogen is going. Estrogen also, as it peaks, as it rises, it's the hormone that sends a signal back to the brain to produce another hormone called luteinizing hormone or LH. LH is needed to trigger ovulation. So the follicle's growing, it's getting ready. If we don't have an LH surge, ovulation won't happen. So estrogen also plays a role in healthy ovulation. So healthy ovulation, healthy cervical mucus, healthy hormones, estrogen's good stuff.